So the Northern Crusade is failing. We are just waiting to change a law to be able to revoke some titles at home that we have just prepared for revocation. Well, almost anyway. Because our nephew has taken over in Zeta. And he is a strong vassal. Let me get you a betrothal now. Would like a job. I should have checked how good he is. He is a good counselor. Better than the guy we got in. So. Oh, you know what we're gonna do. We're going to send them over to Bulgaria to get us a title on something. And we become close friends with someone. I would like to take at least this to fully get this duchy under me under me own thumb. Oh. What are you fighting over? Shrimps. This here. What can we get? Olencia? That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I like picking pieces that aren't super obvious to pick. Nearby Tengri might join him, but it doesn't really look like they will. Then again, this is closer to Tengri, and we got the river here protecting us a little bit. What are you fighting? Tragovist. But, yeah, they're defending. Let's go for Lent, uh, Oltenia. It doesn't look like anyone is attacking them for that. Um, you already hate us. You will hate us for two more years. So we'll just try this one on our own. And we potentially call in allies. As it becomes necessary. Why don't we have a non-aggression pact with you guys anymore? Oh, we do, but you're already at war with him. How many troops does he have? 1,600. Should be fine. Make sure our siege man is sieging here. And I'm not speeding this up further. More castle towns being built. Fortifications go up to everywhere. Just to make them a little bit tougher. Ah, another duke to have a non aggression pact with. Uh, an alliance, rather. Guy over here. They embraced Catholicism. So there's no more war for us to be had. Well, at least not that one. Let us force vassalization on him. Not him. Him. He doesn't hate us yet. I raise troops right under his bottom. Wasn't smart. There's a button for that, you know. You can prevent this. You just need to hold down CTRL while you raise your troops. A 
Okay, let's see who else is attacking him. Because if we can do anything about that, definitely should. A strong claim on the county of Turnoffel. Yeah, we'll take it. They didn't, they didn't take much. That's good. Let's attack his army while they're still weak there. We might still vassalize them entirely. That's even a better outcome. Dear nephew, please be my designated regent and keeper of swans. sure why I would want to call someone a sodomite, but here we are doing it. I wish he had the same sense as me when I surrender to Bulgaria. There's really nothing he can do, but he's still trying. Oh. Hello there. Let's allow him to cross. Where did you get those? That's fantastic. Color me very impressed. Let's do this. Beautiful cleric. Fine. Doesn't want to convert though. I think he hired someone. Didn't you hire someone? Come on, tell us. What are these? Do you have allies? You have allies. Well, they did not really help you, did they now? Shame. Calling them. And... Now, vassalization doesn't give us land to give away. Three more years away from this. Again, we just let him come. we go new vassal and we can create the duchy of Olentia Oltenia sorry lost us a little bit but that's fine I believe you are part of this duchy the jour part of that duchy You will have it. How many duchies do I hold? Just this one. So you are... Are you at war with anything or anyone? 
You have 7,000 troops right now. What can we do with you? Our vassal here has a claim on Vidin. But we would rather go for their capital. Probably. That for ourselves. Sultanate of Rum is pretty big and strong. What else can we do? Claim box. Our friend. Truce here anyway. How many people join us and how many join him? So Vidin would look a little bit better. But we have this claim which we will not inherit unless it's pressed in war. And we can at least bring in two allies. 3000 and 2100 but he's at his own war right now. He's not likely to bring in troops. Same with this guy. So we'll leave it for a moment. And we move over here. And... Go sabotage his primary holdings because he brings quite a bit of manpower out of this if we can help that not be the case it would be quite useful oh you're a strong vassal let's make sure all the strong vassals got jobs oh he's really good too lovely see who else well, he's in hiding, so he can't get a job. Go and convert. Need to join a order. And I think it will be... It doesn't really matter. Pretty much the same between both of them. Except these get an extra power. Let's go with Benedictinus. We don't earn enough yet to just throw money at charity. Ah, very good. Our son converts to Catholic too. The heathen delusions do not interest me. Only piety matters to us. Croatia is fighting Hungary for claim Hungary. Let's support our Croatian brothers in their very justified war. I like to stress this, it's very justified. I don't think we have the manpower to really help. You want me to build a church? Okay. That. Can we get out a few? A Countess of Achaia or a Duchess of Tyrol? Let's go with the Duchess of Tyrol. 
she's close enough still. And she wishes to have an alliance. I doubt my troops will arrive in time to help him. Or well, they might. I just yet arrive in time. We are leading something. But I don't think it'll help. That's pretty even. Oh, we actually won it. That's insane. We actually won it. Well, that's insane. Let's attach to him. So he has control over what's going on. That's crazy. Actually, once the siege is done, we should go attack. Ah, he's coming with us. No, he's not. Maybe we can capture the king. Oh, we captured someone, but not the king. Master, please, to the front. What exactly are we fighting over? Croatian claim on Hungary war. Need to be ready to defend our brothers. Ah, we were called into this one. And we've actually contributed. Not that little either. Right, let's go. Less has passed, our cousin. I think he's the one beatified we Nope. Not as beatified yet. Let's ransom all these guys. They're probably worth a little bit of money. He doesn't have anything, so it doesn't really matter. Siege master, go siege. Probably go for the capital. <clears throat> Let's go siege the capital. We have converted a province, very good. Our son needs guidance, and guidance he shall have. Let's build a church, shall we? Ah, uh, we can't. Let's not build a church, shall we? That we can do. Get them again or they have a chance to take out the siege and rebuild their troops because they are reinforcing never forget that the enemy does reinforce just as much as you do oh look at that we've increased the, the power of croatia
Uh, and we're called into a war against the Holy... Not the Holy Roman Empire, the Byzantines. What are the Byzantines fighting you for? Tributary state. Okay. Can we raise some more troops? Very few. But we'll attach to his troops. Hope for the best. Whoever is the most learned shall be our court tutor. Actually, our son. Stuff. Need a new marshal. That's a shame. He was good. Get one of the strong ones. This guy's a good. Good. Let's put him there. And let's put the other strong vassal in this, even though he's not really great at it. Would you look at that? We actually beat the Byzantines. Well, for now, <laughs> they're going to come back and in larger numbers. Died. I clearly. Go fabricate more claims. Fabricate a claim here. Now let's uh, allow ourselves title revocation. It'll come in handy at some point. And controlled realm inheritance, it will be illegal to have anything pass outside the realm. It doesn't really work always, but sometimes, and that's good enough for us, isn't it? Probably need to replace our steward or something because he no longer is a strong vassal. Oh, a spy master is not a strong muscle. Let's put this guy in. And send him off to... Buy at the Byzantine court. I hope he tries to go for a white piece, because that's probably the best he's gonna get. The fact that he even won one battle... Already insane. Let's see if we can repeat this. I don't think we can, but... You'll never know. What? Are oh, we no longer temperate? Well, he did good before the reinforcements arrived. And I think at this point we're going to stand down our troops and call it a day. Temperate or malnourished? We already are mal malnourished. Yeah, we need to let our troops recover. Can't afford to be part in this any longer. Sadly, our alliance with this guy broke down for some reason. Sorry, Croatia. I did all I could to even give you all this land here to make you stronger. But it's all I could do. <laughs> Died of poor health? Excuse me? Oh, we were malnourished. Okay. 
Let's see. King Stefan has given up the ghost at age 42. He died of poor health, well known to be charitable. He freely gave money to his friends and family. A godly man. Stefan is with the Lord now. King Zoran, merely 15 years old. The realm is left in the capable hands of regent and council. Long live King Zoran. We have not lost any titles, which is fantastic. But we have also lost all of our alliances and everything. Which is not so fantastic. So right now we're pretty weak. So let's see. What can we do? Nothing. She is betrothed to us because she is... I don't know. But we will break this betrothal. And get ourselves some manu. Princess of the Byzantine Empire. But she's three. A bit too young. Princess of Aragon. She's great. She's a genius and everything, but she's a little bit too far to matter. She's also a little bit too old for us. She's old there. Go by age and see what we can find around the 15, 14 mark. One quick. Already lustful at 15. Is there anything Greek here? These are all just baronies. Would like a duke. There's a caliphate. They're probably too far away. Oh no, Bulgar is somewhere here, isn't it? there they're still too far away to be much use Dutch too far away Navarra also a bit too far away Russian Danish Norwegian Italian, that's not too far. And it's those guys here, the tree guys. I don't think they're all that big. Let's see. Greek. Who are you? Which one of these are you? Down there. Let's go with her. At least we get a non-aggression pack with a Byzantine Duke. No alliance yet, but that might change. I don't care about the artifact, thanks. We are not very strong, so we need to be rich. And once we become of age, we should also shift to a more levy-focused thing here. Our vassals send us more troops. Are you fighting over what? Or 
converted another province. Hey, he's he's really good. You can just wait for Bulgaria to send all their troops away. And then when we're of age, we go and attack. We become a dutiful cleric. And we become frail from being an idolizer. Oh yes. Oh yes. Alright. He was beatified. King Stefan Nemanjik lived a pious life, truly following the example of God. He passed on the 24th of March, 1218, and people have long wondered if he would be considered a true Christian or not. A large ceremony is held in Stefan's honor by the Pope to celebrate his life. He lived a virtuous example of true Catholic. The Pope will write his name among the pious Christians of old. A bastion of piety in life, a stalwart example in death, blessed to be his memory once again. So... Family member was made a saint, it says. Does that mean I get a saintly bloodline? Was he made a saint? I think he was made a saint. Alright, let's marry. Thicken him. Definitely go for theology, and we would like to groom an heir. And we need to be crowned ourselves. Priest will do indeed. It is everyone's concern that we get married and you want an alliance now. You generally don't want alliances if you're a child. Alright. And it will be... A dignified ceremony will do. And we can settle a matter during a coronation here. We are flattered by someone for something. Truly king. Okay, there's only Saint Isabel. But our father, he was beatified, but not sainted. We got one out of two here. And now we go on a pilgrimage, I think. And we will go... Seek out the saintly burial site. Yeah, and the grand tomb of Saint Isabel in Acre. Peasants in Belgrade spend a long time. Yeah, let's give them local shrines. And our journey to Accra begins. There's a chance we might die here. We will show them who needs protection. But do we really want that? 100 gold and 50... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take the chance of death there. There have been knights here, yeah, all good. Another claim for us. Take it. Now, I come across a group of caravans filled with the laughter and joy of a group traveling of entertainers. As day turns to night, I enjoy the company of the group. A particularly beautiful woman is teasing me and invites me to stay the night. Now, no, oh, harlot, succubus, you have come 
into the possession of the Confessions of St. Augustine, a series of tomes detailing the life and times of Augustine of Hippo, Christian theologian from Roman Africa who lived many centuries ago. A very important theologian, by the way. It's actually true. And we will read every word. We find ourselves in Acre. And the work of St. Augustine has contained many a truth. And we will remember this day for the rest of our life. So we return home now. Another province converted. Wow, this guy is really good. What is he doing? Alright. Let's join the Benedictine Order. And he is down to 2,000 troops. <laughs> My friend. Oh, but Galicia Volonia is going to join him. With a whole 350 troops. Yeah, I think we can deal with that. We'll call in our ally, just to be sure. Dear father-in-law. And since we know that he's up north, there's really not much that he can do about what we are about to do. Dangerous factions. Make sure we only have the right people in the court. Do. Send him to so descent at the Byzantine Empire. Let's see what he does with that. Commander, please lead the siege. Daughter was born here. Very good. That means a non-aggression pact for us. Falkmar, King of Sicily. Yeah. Take that. He takes an alliance too. That's good. Sicily is strong. Strong ally. Very good. We will not call them in. Why can I imprison you? Well, that's that's too bad for you, isn't it? Oh, we actually did manage to imprison him. Well, someone is going to lose some titles, isn't? Aren't they? Well, at least the duchy is now ours. And we can imprison our brother, half-brother. See that we don't need to. A chancellor is required. Can't we find someone really good? Search everywhere. Oh yeah, he's really good, and he's young too. He's a homosexual, which doesn't matter to me, but... Might find it weird. Oh, and fabricate a claim there. There. Uh, yeah, our lis lisping nephew, why not him? And we need a designated regent, it will be our steward. Donate to charity, we can do that. We never built that church, we promised to. It's probably why God took us. How much for a book? Ooh, that's not a lot. And we will write on the intricacies of relationships, because we're not really good at much, so... Best we can do. <laughs> I 
and we are going to take a stroll and have a talk. So we get improved diplomacy while we write our book. Look, Bulgaria has shown up. Let us meet them. Our wife is pregnant. Good stuff. Okay, they're going away again for some reason. Bye bye. Nice to see you for a moment. New commanders required. No, no, we shall find outside help. Let's click. Oh, wow. Good crop of commanders. There's also some young ones here that are pretty good. Will last us a long, long time. Doesn't really make sense to have too many center leaders, but if you're already shopping for commanders, do make sure you get a few more than just one, because they tend to not live very long as it stands. No, I don't want to invite him in. You know, we're really blessed with commanders when you can start replacing people who have 16 and stuff like that. Another son was born to my brother. Good stuff, which means another alliance. Princes of the Holy Roman Empire. That's just a revolt. Holy Roman Empire. Kingdom of Serbia. Am I not the Kingdom of Serbia? Who is this? Who is Lass? It just, it just says the Kingdom of Serbia on all of these. I feel like I'm being lied to. <laughs> Alright, Okiten. Bulgarian, but it's just, just a countess. Need something bigger. Some of Denmark. Oh, let's get. Um, some Croatian or Sardinian or something. Or <laughs> just a countess. Better than nothing. Eight hundred seventeen. Maybe we should put someone on this flank who actually knows what they're doing. We will lead behind our really good commander. There. I don't know. I always have a feeling that um, the people that you put in here have a higher chance of dying, but I have no way of supporting that claim. So I just usually hope for the best. Ah, oh, look at that. New son. Will become pious and Holy Roman Empire, Byzantine Revolt, Mania. Same thing over again. Let's see. Someone strong here? Italian Baroness. Swedish Duchy. Armenia, that's that's fairly close by. Let's go with her. And regular baptism will be fine because we don't know if he's actually going to be 
our true heir. We have fought him and won in battle now. Calm her down a little. Did not become kind. Now. Mayor Mislav. Oh no. The Great Rebellion of Mayor Mislav. We will keep seeking battle with them. Ah, the text illuminates us. Good. Siege guy still alive? He's old. Should probably start looking for a replacement siege guy. That's our guy. All right. Um, I think we can leave it off for today here. Thank you very much for watching and see you around next time. Bye-bye.